Do you feel like a rock star? I feel a bit like a toilet brush. I have to say, I've been unhappy with my hair for quite some time now. Even after the past couple of haircuts I've got, it felt unbalanced, it felt untamed, it felt like it was too much. For the most part, I've perceived my natural curls as a blessing and a curse, because to me they made my head just look like a big fluffy bird's nest. My friend Andy is what you would probably describe as a celebrity hairstylist. Even though I hate the word celebrity, I think it gives you the right idea. He frequently works with Heidi Klum, Nicole Ritchie, Fergie, the Kardashians, Britney Spears, to name a few. From what I've noticed, you can literally just Google random people and I've all left Abby's salon at some point. However, what he is most known for is his long-term collaboration with Madonna. Basically, almost every single hairstyle that you've seen Madonna wear in I think the past two decades, Andy has done it. So I couldn't think of a better person to trust for my personal hair makeover. I have no idea what Andy has in mind or envisioned for my hair, but we're heading to a salon right now. Let's go. All right, guys, here we are. Let's see if we can find Andy. Hi, I'm here to see Andy. Cody? Yes. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Good to see you. Sometimes I like to just dress up at night. Yes. This is my mother, Simon. <laughs> oh, my hair almost looks the same. Look. You think I should grow it longer? Yeah, like mine, just like mine. You're my little baby. I don't think it would look as good. Sure would. Because you have tighter curls than I do. You look great with the bones, see? I think I have a bigger head than you do. That's it, right? It actually looks good it's on good you as well. I'll keep the cap. You keep the bow. We're done. Because it gives you volume. You need volume and height. That's why I wear it. No, your hair looks great. You look like a rock star. That's what I'm going for. Your hair is nice too. It's like naturally wet. Uh, uh, uh. It is, it is. It's naturally wet. Is that a product or is that actually just water? It's water. He just oh. washed it. Let's talk. What are we gonna do with your beautiful hair? I don't know. Do you usually do basic haircuts or is this charity work for you? What? No, I do basic haircuts all the time. I like where it is at the sides. Yeah. It's not too bad at the sides. Yeah. Maybe you should chop the top up a little bit. Yeah. You know, bring it forward. Maybe give you like a TikTok hair now. A TikTok hair? What is a TikTok hair? Oh my yeah, god, no. Stuff. It's just longer than what I usually have. It's not as long overdue as my haircut. Like, you know, the TikTok boy, where they go like that. Ah, yeah, but my head looks like a cupcake now. Exactly. Do you okay. trust me? I trust you. Do you think I'll give you a good haircut? Yes. Jesus, take the wheel. Andy, take the wheel. Let's go. Put this on. Okay. Take your sweater off. And this is Natalie. She's going to shampoo you. Hi, Natalie. Okay, over here. Natalie will shampoo you. We're a bit of a mess right now. It's okay. So am I. You're not a mess. We're not a mess. I look like a Harry Potter character. <laughs> A hard candy. It's what like flavor is it? And that one's an orange. Candy from Andy. It makes it hard to speak. Yeah, that was what I was trying to do, shut you up. So, okay, I think all this has got to go. Whatever you think looks good, to be honest. Well, that's what we're going for. How long have you had the salon for? Um, I've been in this salon for 16 years. 16 years. Did you always want to be a hairdresser? Yes. I started working at my sister's salon when I was 12. And I moved to LA when I was 18. And I got a job on the floor. And I started working with really hot people. I worked really hard, had a dream. I wanted to be a big star. I made it happen. In your field, you're like top of the heap. Is it all about skill and talent or also about who you know? Oh, I think it's a lot about skill and talent. I wouldn't say skill, I'd say talent. Okay. It's a lot about talent and creativity and like there is a part of who you know. People yeah. can get by, but you can only get by so far of course who you know. Of course. Because you can know a lot of people, but that doesn't yeah. mean you're gonna like go that far. You might get in a few doors, but you, you don't how are you gonna stay in the room? Do you think my hair, my face looks better with curly or straight hair? Because straight is basically wet. You have the comparison now. Right. Because I think there's a time and place. Usually when I have somewhere to go, I like to straighten it. Mm -hmm. And put it back. Just because it looks more put together and more mature. Yeah. The curly hair is way more juvenile and whimsical. Sometimes mm -hmm. I look like a 15 year old. Mm -hmm. What do you think looks better? I think they both look hot. That's what you're going for. If you have to choose. <laughs> in between. Do you know how to say haircut in German? Haare schneiden. Haare schneiden. Haare schneiden. Haare schneiden. Haare schneiden. Exactly. Haare schneiden. And you are a friseur. Ah, c'est Friseur. Is that? Hairdresser. Friseur. Is that? Take my nail polish. Oh yeah, it's red. I went with red nail polish because I like red. I like red. I just like red. I have no idea where this is going. I have to say I agree with you. I know it's going closer together. You had like a really like super long thing on the top. Yeah, I know. Now it's gonna still be longer on top. You're still gonna have some volume on the side. The cut to the face shape. Okay. And I kind of just get inspired by that face and just see what looks good. So it's like I'm your canvas. Yeah, you're my canvas. And wow. I'm painting it. Rose mist. Mm. 
You can do TikTok, you can do James Dean, you can do hey, this little TikTok boy. I look so different. How do you look different? You look like a beetle. Oh god! <laughs> I look British! Mother! Mother! You look like a um, what you want to call it? Do you think I should ever try a different color? No. I'll kill you. Okay. Yeah, this is so bulky in the back. You got like a bowl cut. A bowl cut? A bowl cut. A bowl cut? A bowl cut. A bowl cut. Whenever I go out and I see all the kids out today, I'm just like so jealous. I'm just gonna suck all their youth out of them. You kind of look like you could be like a Superman. That's kind of like what I'm going for. I don't love anyone because I'm just gonna leave you anyway. So you just gotta just stop loving people. I also have a hard time actually caring for someone apart from my family. What? Life has just taught me a couple of things. I mean, same way I could ask you, why do you need not love anyone anymore? Because life's disappointing. Do you know why life is hard? Why? Because people are soft. If you're not soft yourself, that makes life easier for you. Yes. There's hammers and nails. Everyone wants to be a hammer, but not everyone can be. True. Is your vision coming together? Mm-hmm. Right now, it looks like I just got accepted to boarding school. Now it looks completely different again. Yeah, you have like the magic hands. Oh, no, 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 no. Do you actually do this by feeling? Mm-hmm. Because I know nothing about cutting hair. To me, it looks like you're like picking random strands and cutting them off. Mm -hmm. This makes me look like Tintin. Who's Tintin? This guy, the detective with the dog. How come this side when you went like up like that when you shaved? I don't know. It's like it's not like that. Oh, makes me so mad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whose eyes are these? My mother, my father's, and my Wow. Oh my god, my arms are so sore. Yeah? Yeah. They're good though, right? Yeah. Good. Have you been working out? Yeah. It looks like Mount Crumpet. Who's that? The mountain the Grinch lives in. I'm not sure that was the reference I was going for, but okay. <laughs> what? This is the magic product. What is this? Jesus. Oh my god. I'm gonna put a wig on him. I don't think I've ever worn a professional wig before. I like it. Now I know I'm never gonna go blonde. Do you feel like a rock star? I feel a bit like a toilet brush. Do you want something prettier? Yes. <laughs> oh, you should be wearing no shirt. Take your shirt off. Ugh. Oh, your shirt is very tight. <laughs> you look like Axl Rose. Who is Axl Rose? Oh my god, you're really that young. You don't know who Axl Rose is? How is this? People don't know who Axl Rose is. Like, I don't understand. I know Guns N' Roses. It looks dangerously real. It's all the way to your crack. You can turn the tag with Jane. So do you work out? Yeah, I play table tennis. You don't let me put everything back on. Yeah. Oh. I'm back to normal. Oh my god, you're so handsome. You're even more handsome than normal than you were with the red wig on. That's all thanks to your magic touch. Andy? Right, baby. We're done. Thank you so much for taking the time. What is magical ball? It's a magic ball. See you in the future. See, what do you see? I see one day you're gonna marry me. And we have three children and live in Austria. No, <laughs> I don't see that. <laughs> see you soon. Thank you for everything. I wanted to wait and film the end of this video after I've washed my hair and let it dry because as you can probably all confirm, right after the hairdresser, your haircut never looks the way it actually does for the next couple of weeks. So here we are, I'm actually pretty happy with it. I have to say it's not miles away from what I usually get, but what I did learn from Andy was about the importance of texture in hair to let it move, to let it breathe, to play with it, and to also change it up once in a while. Overall, of course, a great experience. If you guys made it this far, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments and take care.